And we're live right here for uh, game number two with uh, high school. Uh, Coach Matt's team playing today. Uh, we got a three ball that's up, no good. We're playing against a uh, team from uh, Spain. Good transition. We just missed the missed the layup on that one there, but I think Coach Mass wants to get his team out and uh, really get up and down today. The team from Spain moves the ball very well, and they they're pretty big, but uh, we're going to be fine. We got Coach Kevin here. Oh yeah, doing the play-by-play -play with me today. Oh, Israel with a little bank shot off the glass from top of the key. I like this game, Coach. I think this is going to be an up, up tempo game from the jump. Is that a shot misses? And it will go back to DME. As Mo takes it across the timeline, calls a play. Ivan with a nice little shot fake, one dribble pull up. He's had that to his game, huh? Got a chance to work with him late last night. Did a lot of uh, individual workout with him, trying to help him with his craft. And that's a deep three miss by number four, Laco. He's coming into his own, you know, trying to teach him how to just slow down and let the game come to him and not really try to go hunting so much. Uh, but he's a great worker. He's great. Energetic guy, hard worker. Yeah, he's always in the gym, and uh, it's nice to see him actually not just settle for a three, but get downhill a little bit. Yep, yep. As that might be a little good matchup down there. Nice little right-hand hook right there by number 13. Yeah, we got to do a better job at kind of three-quarter in the post, not kind of getting in behind them, not let them get easy post-up moves there. As Israel looks to go two for two from three, and he will not. But I take that, though, you know. You want to kind of extend that, uh, this team out and let them know that, hey, we can shoot also. But that's going to be huge right there, us being on the boards, not allowing on this uh, Spain team to get a second and third opportunity. As it's a physical game, these refs are letting them play. As we have two turnovers now trying to force the ball. I like how we're running the lane as this game's getting a little sloppy now. I like how we're running, but sometimes, you know, you don't have to throw it every time. Well, and, and that's why I said it early in the beginning that, you know, this, team, this game is going to be up-tempo. Both teams want to get up and down. I think the Spain team is really going to push the tempo. I really like number four for them. Uh, but we got to do a better job slowing it down and making them play our game. You know, uh, this it, it really favors us with us not having a shot clock and everything. I mean, we just got to be poised and patient. As Israel banks in another one, this one from two, as now that makes him have five. But, you know, it's nice to see the big guy hit a couple shots. Builds his confidence and lets his teammates know that, hey, you know, this guy is doing pretty good right now. You know, uh, let's get him some touches. Uh, oh, we got a mixed match here on the block. That's tough. And that's the shot we want them to shoot. The nice offensive rebound right there by number 11. As Mo says, let me slow things down a little bit. Call a play. As Justin is uh, looking sharp over there. Yeah, he is. Uh, my man, he, he's getting ready for Christmas. <laughs> he got a new wardrobe coming out. He's running. He's he's being the head coach today. Nice move right there. I don't, I don't think Coach Matt's job is in jeopardy or anything like that, you know, or, or Justin being the interim today. <laughs> <laughs> as uh, I think this game was only scheduled maybe a couple weeks ago, as I think Coach Matt wanted to give Coach Justin a you know shot to see what it's like and. Uh, uh, and it looks like he's going to go to his bench for the first time. Which isn't bad, you know, because DME does a really good job at uh, grooming 
uh, coaches to make it to the next level and everything else. So uh, here's a great opportunity for him to get his feet wet and coach this game. As number five, he played in the first game, this guy right here. Yeah, he was uh, number 23 for the other team. Yes, and I, I liked his game a little bit. A long, lengthy guy, but that's a foul on Israel. Israel just got to make himself big, man, you know. Play with both hands up. Kind of, we want we call that Cheston, the offensive player, trying to go wall to wall with him. Just, you know, make yourself big and, if he makes those hook shots, then, hey, that's tough, you know. Yeah. But we don't want to bail him out and send him to the free throw line. Um. As he, nice, nice looking stroke right there by number 13. As he makes the first, as Malik comes in for Sebastian. He's not bad. He's a pretty good guy. I mean, last time he did a little, uh, little, right. little Kobe move with the back down the spin around, uh, fadeaway jump shot. But this right here is going to hurt us. Uh, that's twice for number 11 now with the offensive uh, putback. We've got to do a better job of keeping them off the glass, but I like how we push it in transition. We didn't get anything out of it. Now we're going to set up our offense. As Charles tries to play a little two-man game over to Malik. It's a nice little play. Over to Ivan. Cut. Over to Israel. Israel might say, oh, but he won't. I think good pass on the inside. Good job. Great and job. It was good, good control right there by Mo. But I would like to see Ivan. You know, he's kind of a bigger guard, 6'1", 6'2", maybe 6'3", on a good day. <laughs> I'd like to see him post up a little bit, especially on that X that they run. But... I can see him get a little one-two dribble, maybe kind of dirt shot since he might have some smaller guys on him as Mo makes the first. <laughs> and he makes the second. As for the viewers at home, oh, wait. Say what? That score might be wrong. I have it wrong. But then again, I could be wrong. Nice shot fake right there by number nine. And he gets a nice looking stroke right there from three. We just got to get out of contest a little bit better. We're not talking defensively. But I like us running our stuff here. As Israel has the confidence, but it's a little off the mark. Wide right. He's getting some touches. He's getting some good looks. He just got to be able to knock him down and help us out a little bit. Even though the bank is still open, he's, he, he's been using it. I like a glass, a, a guy that can shoot off the glass. Nice move right there. By That's a great four. block. Good defense. Here we go, Malik. Great jump stop there. Self-inflicting turnovers. We, we, we can't allow ourselves to, to get in that, you know. He did a great job pushing, got it to the middle of the floor, jump stop. Problem was he started looking for one person. You got to remember, you got five seconds to get rid of the ball. That's a long time, you know. And that's a holding foul on Gassan right there. His first, team second. Here, here's the thing, though, you know. In order, uh, I heard this saying a, a while back. Oh, my. Nice jump shot. Yep. Jump hook right there by number 13, gives him four. You know, the guys, in order for uh, guys got to play good to feel good, you know. And we, we can't let our body language start dictating, you know, how we're going to play just because something doesn't go your way or you miss a shot. I want to see these guys kind of lock in as my man takes it to the rim. A little wild. A little shot. out of control. But, you know, he's trying to draw some contact. Trying to do things out of his norm, which is, you know, shoot the three. And that is a foul on Gasson, his second. Oh, 
who's inside the cylinder. We, we, we got to slow down offensively. Defensively here, I would like for us to, oh my. Here we go. Good contest, that's tough. And you can tell these guys practice their low post moves. These guys are a little bigger than our guys, but hey, we still got a chance, you know. We're gonna play for one shot here to end the first quarter. Good job in faking a pass, making a pass. Mo will knock Mo down with another three. Yes, yes, Mo is coming in to his own. Get some five points. As I think CBA will now take one shot. Calling for horns. Go under, go under. Nice take little move we right take there, that. though. Good, yes. Good job. As we go in the end of the first quarter, um, CBA 17, DME 12. We'll take a short break. As we are back here, start the second quarter. As we have uh, Momir and Wessum joining us. Not joining us, but walking past us. As uh, that's a nice bucket right there by number. That was number 22. Number 22, his first time into the game. Yep, yep, on the back door cut there. Charles, good take, Charles. And Charles, I think, you know, I've never been over in Spain and played basketball before, but Charles is going to be a little quick for them. Especially when we're able to attack the gaps. You know, going, Charles' best game is when he's going down the hill under control. And, uh, you know, we want to try to put these guys in foul trouble as he makes the first one. Um, and in order to do that, you got to be able to attack. But you got to be able to attack under control as well, you know. Um, and I think that he's slowly learning it. He's coming along with that, you know. Um, Trying to have a little poise and patience. As he makes both free throws. And that cuts the lead to five. As on the scoreboard, CBA is in white, but they are, they are guests. We are in black, but we are home. As that confused me, maybe some of you viewers <laughs> as well. And this guy, I like number 13's game so far. He's not afraid. Nice, Charles. Way to get to the nail. Pull up jumper. I like that. Just didn't fall, but we got to keep playing. This you guy's know? pretty quick himself. Oh, yes. He's nice. I told you. You got to find number four in transition. You got to try to get the ball out of his hand because this guy makes this team go. You know? That's Sebastian tries to put the moves on. Little turnaround jumper That's will tough. not go. That's a tough shot. But guess what, though? We're, it's our ball underneath, though. As that will be a timeout by CBA with 6.38 left in the second quarter. CBA up 21-14. So, once again, you know, if I'm Coach Justin right now, you know, we, we're trying to run our little quick out-of-bounds play. Yep. Maybe look for a three. You know, if not, then, you know, we try to get it out and run some offense. But, Defensively right now, 
you got to stop number four. You got to find him. You got to get the ball out of his hands because this, once again, this guy is good. You know, he's going to push it. He's going to try to force. The, uh, he forces it, but it's a good force. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, he's not out of control. He's the one that controls the tempo for the CBA team. And on the other end, you got to stop number 13. We, we got to put a body on him. You got to be. You got to know where he is because this guy's running rim to rim. He gets down and he posts up strong, and he's got got a good footwork. He's not afraid to play with his back to the basket. And I like that. Yeah, it's a nice play call out of the timeout by Justin, but the shot by Ivan just does not go. And there he is, 13 on the run out as he skies for the dunk. As he's been so far for me the most impressive player. Pretty much on the floor. He's not bad. He's and not bad at all. Charles' three-point shot would not go. That's, good. A, that's a good jump Good ball. rebound right there by Sebastian. As it will stay DME ball. And Mo will come in for Charles. And nice. Great. That was a great idea. But you got it once again. And 13 again with the bucket. And that gives him a game high 10. And DME looks he's in a little bit of a hole right now, down 9, or down 11. Yep, yep. But once again, hey, no shot clock. You don't have to worry about it. Make him play some defense, take some time. Uh, Those are what you can't have. Yep, yep. Self-inflicting turnovers, once again, you know. I love our offense. I just wish that we were attacked off the drive sometimes. You got to put a little pressure on them, make them collapse a little bit. As that was a jump ball, it will stay C CBA ball. Get a turnover. Yeah, good defense good right job. there by DME. As Sal looks to take it in amongst the trees. And he got blocked, but way to stay with it. As Mo misses the outside jumper. And a foul call on Sebastian. Kind of stopped their transition, stopped them from getting fast. Uh, fast break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's not what I was going to say, but yeah, I hear you. <laughs> and it's number four. You, gotta, you need help. He Lock can't up. guard him. And that's a nice move right there. Probably got fouled, but back over to him. That's, that's double. You got to double. If we're switching, you got to double when he touches the ball. I take the miss. Great take. Good job by Sebastian right there to get that defensive rebound, take it all the way, put some pressure on the CBA defense. And that's good for his confidence. You know, that's going to that's gonna help Great us out. Pass. Great finish right there between uh, number four and 13. Yeah, those two have connected for a lot of buckets today. They got a really good chemistry, you know. So... As Hassan will pull it from three, and he will hit it. Nice, nice. His first shot is good from downtown. We go zone here, one possession. And that is a deep three all the way from Spain by number four, Laco. <laughs> we call that across. He, was, he shot that from across the water, so. Yep. There you go, good take. And good job by Sebastian right there. And see, and that's what we're talking about. Like, even though you're running your offense and you're getting good looks, you got to be able to attack those gaps and put a little pressure on them. You know, they, if not, then, you know, there's no contact, no fouls. You can't get certain people in foul trouble. And I, I and told there you. he is again. Good job. Sebastian's really putting some pressure right now on, on the CBA defense to make him guard, and uh, they, he forced them to follow him twice in 10 seconds.
I like this guy, man. I told you. That, that run out he had last time builds that confidence. It does. It does. Then he attacks the next two times. He goes to the free throw line. He's making his free throw. You know, hey, we're down 10 with four minutes to play in the second quarter. He's got the best hairstyle out here, too. Yeah, he's got more hair than I got. I need some of that. Makes them both. We drop back in the 2-3 again. I like this idea by Coach Justin. His number four pulls up deep and it goes in and out. But that's what you want, 2-3 zone, deep three, a little bit contested. Right, right. You don't want to, because number 13 has been killing us on the inside. I like how we keep probing. That is great. Sebastian, oh, Sebastian. had two great possessions back to back. As the defense for DME has picked up a little bit. And the offense yeah. for CBA has gotten stagnant. We got him, we got him frustrated. Hey. Down seven, three minutes to play. Basketball's a game of runs. I can't. I can't emphasize that enough. Right now, we got the momentum. I want to go. I want to get the ball back in Sebastian's hand. And I think that's what Coach Justin wants. And space out the floor. This got guy cannot him. guard him. Now, see, I don't like that. He did the right thing by driving and attacking. He got the big guy to come over. And on that right there, you got to be able to find your big guy. You got to find him on the backside for a drop off because you did your job. Give him a ball screen. Jump shot. Oh, oh you got to go up. Slow things down right here. Say I will. Get it over to Mo. As Mo calls for head tap. A little ball screen action. And I like how DME is, at, you know, I, is getting to the, they're getting uh, paint touches. Yeah. That's what's happening. You know, they're scoring a lot easier because of that. Definitely, definitely. You got to recall that getting our feet wet. You know, trying to get in there, trying to. Definitely getting their feet wet. Yeah, yeah. In Spain. <laughs> In Spain. That's a tough, I like that. Very con uh, contested defensive play right there by my guy. Nice move right there by Sebastian. He's having, a, he's having a really, really nice. I don't know if these guys are listening to me right now, but it, it seems like they are. You know, like. You know what, Coach, if you want to think that, you can. <laughs> I don't know how it's getting to them, but we talk about it. They come right back and they do it. I swear they, they're listening while, while they're playing. You know, it's, uh, it's nice. It I mean, is nice. It's great to see that, man. It's nice to see our players listen to the coaches. We, we call that uh, being coachable. <laughs> That's a big thing. That's a big, big thing. But that was good move, man. You know, that's what we're talking about. You want to tag the gaps, the other defender steps up, reward your big fellow on the back end. You know, you got to trust him a little bit. And Israel's, I mean, he's got a nice game. He's got nine points leading uh, leading DME in scoring. Um, Sebastian's only got six, but, I mean, he's the one who started this little run, Sebastian. Is. Yes, yes. And we talked about this. You know, we talked about right at the four-minute mark being down, being down 11, you know. And here we are with two minutes to play going into halftime. We're only down three, and we got the momentum. Yeah. We're getting stops defensively. Uh, CBA is, is getting frustrated on the offensive end. That's number four right here. Brings it across the timeline. Time DME will stay in this 2-3 zone that has been giving CBA some trouble as they hoist up a three, and it, it's good to go. Send it in the mail. Hey, they're going to make some shots here and there. You know, our job is, you know, when they make them, don't get your head down just because they make it. Be ready to push it in transition. That's a foul. Oh, look good at job that. right there by Sebastian. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Under control. My guy goes back to the free throw line for two more shots. And in just a little ball movement, side to side, and the defense is late to, on the 
to rotate on the help side. They are not letting that ball stick. They are, you know, like you said, they are definitely moving that ball around. You got to have ball movement. That ball movement creates opportunities because that defense has to shift. And when that takes, when you, if you see it, you got to take advantage of it. As Ivan comes into the game for Gasson. And Sebastian makes both of them. We, we play a little Aniba 2-3 there. I like that. We start off where it looks like it's a 1-3-1 almost. As DME is making, making CBA work. And they turn it over. You know, CBA did get the ball to the middle right there, but it was a, it was the high middle. It was like almost, it was at the free throw line. Yeah. And other than that, they are just swinging around the perimeter. A little horns action right here. Good move by Mo as he pulls up. But Sal, with a great hustle, gets the offensive glass. And he'll, they'll reset it with 45 left in the, in the first half. There you go, going downhill. Good, nice, great offense right great there job. by DME. You know, the shot didn't go in, but that's that's a wide open look. Great cause by because of the drive. Yep, but that can't happen. As that's a great pass and a great finish right there. And if I'm, I'm DME, I want to play for the last shot right here. There's no shot clock. I don't want to rush anything. Don't want CBA to get another chance to try to push the ball. Yes, I would probably get it back in Sebastian's hands right here, but I don't think it will. It's illegal. I, that's, yep, I knew that was coming. Right. See, in that situation, you you don't want to put your big guy in a high ball screen action that far away from the rim. You know, just our guards are fast enough, they're crafty enough to go downhill without a ball screen like that. You know, I want to make sure that we keep our, our bigs closer to the rim so that, you know what, 13's got to come over. He's got to try to challenge me, and guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to drop it off with my big on the backside if that happens. If he doesn't come over and challenge it, that's going to be the easy two points for me. As now this gives a CBA chance to extend this lead from six to seven or eight. Well, now, Coach Kev, I'm going to tell you what. Five seconds on the clock. Or nine. I will let them get the ball in. Did you foul in this and situation? I foul in this situation because the next time they go inbound the ball is going to be under three seconds, probably under two seconds. That's what I would do because I don't want them to try to get anything inside and try to get a three-point play or anything crazy as they try to go inside for the big guy, and there it is. And that is a bucket right there in the half. And CBA will go into the locker room up eight. And our leading scorer is number 13, Zaji, with 16. And we'll take a little break.
All right. Well, we got a little halftime show for you here. Um, I'm here with AJ Gardino, 2018-2019 BME's hardest worker. DJ, give me, you know, you're here all the time. Um, what motivates you? Um, I just want to get better, you know, like, yeah, get better basketball. Why don't you talk to me a little bit about this game because you guys played today. Talk to me. You know, you guys were struggling a little bit, uh, down a lot of the game, but you guys pulled through. Um, you know, you had a game high 14. Talk to me about what you guys did, you know, to come together as a team or just what happened that pulled you guys through to get to the win. The ball movement was a lot better, you know. It was a really close game. It was a good game. We hustled towards the end, and, you know, we just pulled through and got the win. Yeah. Are you, uh, you know, you shot the ball well. You've been shooting it a lot better. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, you've been, uh, You've been slowing down. The game's been slowing down for you, and I'm um, very impressed to see that. So uh, last question. You see the game going on right now with Coach uh, Justin and Matt's team right here. Um, if you were in the locker room right now, what would you be talking to the guys about? What would uh, you be, you know, would encouraging them? What would you be saying to our guys? Just to slow down and kind of play like a really fast, you know, the game like controlled by the other team kind of. You just got to slow down the pace a little bit. Yeah, that's good advice, AJ. Well, you know, you had one heck of a game the first game, 14 points. I think you had about five or six dimes. And, uh, you know, I hope to, hope you keep that up. You know, and I am uh, can't wait to follow you throughout the year. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome.
Kinson. And we're back. Start the second half of this CBA for CME. As CBA is up eight. Nice pass over to the corner. A nice bucket right there by number nine, Gonzalo. It's a good ball club. The CBA's got a good good ball club. A lot of good uh, good height, good speed. And they're giving us some trouble. As right now, BME is in a little flex. A nice play right there. Nice move by Malik. Where he just can't get the bucket to fall. Rebound by number 10, Will. Up to 13, and he's been running the floor really well. Good pass by number nine, Gonzalo. And Zod, Zodji, number 13, goes up to 18 points. AJ. As Charles takes it down the lane. Just can't, good move, just can't finish. Good move by Charles. Good steal by Muhammad. Good hustle right there by Mo. As that three-pointer by Laco is no good. Rebound Charles, kick up to Malik on the side. And back up to Charles. And it looks like Coach Justin's calling the play. And Charles will miss that straightaway three as that was a unforced turnover by number four, Laco, and just a lazy pass. Uh, this DME team just needs to slow down a little bit as uh, over to Malik. Back over to Ivan up top. The to Charles on the wing. Mo up top. Great screen by Israel, but the shot from Mo is just a little long. And that is a cornerback speed right there by Mo as he takes away. He gets a steal, slows it down a little bit. And Charles is trying to find a lane, but cannot. Good defense by CBA. Over to Mo. Gasson up top. Charles on the wing. And that is a foul call on Zaji down low. Looks like he was hooking Israel on the block. As now I am joined by, for the past couple minutes, Mike Panaggio, uh, owner of DME, uh, basketball fanatic. Yes, I enjoy this once in a while and like to talk to some of the parents because I know a lot of you are listening in. We work so hard to make sure that the kids are prepared for games. And now, great footwork right there by Israel with a left hand hook, just couldn't get it to go. Team is big. They are. Number 13 is very skilled. As this game, I think was on this, we just got this game maybe two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So we weren't as prepared as uh, normal games. Coach Matt, as I know, uh, always prepared for games and always watching film. And it was kind of hard to watch film on these guys since they are all the way from Spain. As Justin wants to call a uh, set play. And great cut right there by Malik. And that should be a foul, and it is. And Malik will head to the line. That pass was set up for, you know, by Mohammed. He is running the floor very well. He is very impressed with the, the improvement the, the young man has made over the last couple of months. As we have a lane violation, um, I can't really see. Might have been either the shooter, Malik, or Charles. Well, we have to have two men in there. So, well, I'm not sure when he left. Left. As now Malik will only get one shot instead of two. And his one shot will be good. No, that is Malik's first bucket of the game. As Omo almost with the steal.
Good cut right there by number 10, Will. As he scores his first bucket of the game. And this, uh, this CBA team has been playing together for a while, and you can kind of tell. Um, they move the ball extremely well. They know when they're cut, when everybody's cutting, and uh, good basketball. Well, they have such a height advantage. That's that's one of the things. As that is a foul. It's gonna be three shots. It looks like. Was it on the shooter? Was it on Charles? It was. It was on Charles. So that'll be three shots for number four, Laco. <laughs> Charles is quick. He's got lots of talent. Good speed, quickness, and uh, can shoot the ball. As the first one is up and no good for Laco. As we don't have a ton of height in there right now, so Ivan really needs to box out. So the second one is up and no good for Laco. Now is when they got to block out. And the third one is up and no good. As he goes 0 for 3 from the line. And you don't see that very often. As miscommunication is Sebastian probably should have been in the corner right there. And that's where Charles was expecting him. As Justin says, let's pick up full. See if we can get the CBA team a little sped up. And it's hard to speed up that guy, number four. Nice pass. And the three ball is good by Gonzalo, which is his third of the game, second of this half. Now we can't leave him alone. I mean, he's a shooter, and he's, they're isolating him in the corner. <laughs> and Ivan will try, and he will not answer. A little deep. He was at the NBA three-point line. And that three-pointer is no good. And I would probably just let, keep letting him shoot the basketball. But we need to rebound. Game getting out of control now, 49 to 30. They have rallied strong in the second half there. Yes, as uh, Coach Justin's going to have some words for, for his guys on the offensive glass. You know, they're, they're doing a pretty good job of – the initial defense, it's just that offensive rebounding where they have to put bodies on somebody and go get the ball. As DME is down 49 to 30 with 319 left in the third quarter. Well, I'd like to see, see a little bit more ball movement by the team. Um, <coughs> there's not much we can do about their, their inside strength. They, they pass the ball well, European-style basketball. Hit the open man, unselfish play, and uh, they're making, the, they're making their uh, passes count right now. And I believe this team's a little older than us as well. Yeah, they've been together, just like you said. They've got the height, they've got speed, they've got good... Uh, Good ball control. Um, very well disciplined team. But it's good. Our guys, we, we promised them we're going to give them competition. They're, gonna pay, they're not going to play a bunch of patsies. They're going to play tough teams each and every game. That's the only way you learn. As Charles takes up the court. Gets it over to Malik. Nice shot big by Malik. A little wild pass, but Ivan will try again from the three and will not go. Another three-point shot from NBA level. NBA distance, I should say. Just the numbers aren't good from there. And turnover by CBA as Malik comes up with the ball. He's going to try again. And that's what you want to see from Ivan. Good shot fake, one-two dribble for the layup. Yeah, Ivan made a great move that time. I've been telling him, just Ivan, move the ball in a little bit. You're gonna shoot. You're gonna straight, shoot a much better percentage at the college three than you are at the 
NBA three. As the foul. I'm confused on what they called here. Me too. As White does not have a zero. Looked like an obvious call on the white ball, yes. It's on number zero black, not white. BME was staying this man to man. And as they foul on Ivan as he reached around. That's and our fifth. His second, team's fifth, with 220 to play in the third. Look at that. That was a great play call right there. That was just not, we just didn't have court awareness there. Got to guard that basket on these out of bounds plays. That's the critical, make them pass out deep, but underneath the basket, can't afford to give up those layups. Okay, number four, Rocco finishes the three point play. Old fashioned way though. Okay, Charles Fortune up a shot and will not go. Yeah, nice dish right there by, by Locko. But number 13, Zaji cannot get that to fall. Because DME needs to start hitting some shots. And Charles can't start it. Sorry, right, we just need a couple stops right here. And number five pulls up from three, will not go. Good rebound by Charles. Passes on the sale. The tail wasn't quite open. And good strong move right there by Sale as he finishes that tough layup with the right. Sale made that play happen. Just pure determination. As that is a traveling call. Questionable call there. Looked like it was a, a hold. And we got a, got a break. As Charles looks to run a play right here. Over to Mo. Back over to Ivan up top. To Charles on the wing. A little cross screen, down screen action. Good move right there by Sebastian. But the foul is on the floor, so it's be underneath. That's hard to believe. For the minute left, minutes ago. It was, third quarter. It was certainly in his move to the basket. Rocco gets a strip in the bucket right there as uh, it sends the lead back now to 20 with 37 seconds left. And he's a really good player. He's quick. His jump shot is his weak point, but he is doing everything else extremely well. He can just control the tempo of this game. And I know DME wants to take this last shot, but down 20, I think you got to at least move the ball a little bit and see if you can get a layup. A wide open three because right now I think we're going to settle for a high ball screen. And we still get a good look out of it. Sal from three, and it's good. Good pass right there by Muhammad. Good setup. And good pass shot, from Muhammad. Assist to Sal. And Sal is uh, really playing well. He's a hard nosed ball player. He is. He works a, his tail off. He's a sophomore. From New Jersey. Really like Sales game. He's gonna be a good ball player. Just needs to keep working. And Mohammed is everyone knows one of my favorite. The kid is just a hardcore ball player. Great kid. Works hard. And um, he's unselfish. I mean I think this game, I think we need a little bit more unselfish play. Especially when we don't have a clock. You know, we don't have a you know a 
30 second clock to worry about. Yes, I think CBA took the timeout. I'm not sure why. They get their last shot. They got seven seconds. They're going to set it up. They want to get a good shot. They want to have a, set up a play. They got to go the length of the court. As I did put, put some time on the clock. Five left. As I think he's just going to pull up. And he will. And that is no good. So at the end of the third quarter, DME 37, CBA 54. Um, we lost some ground. I think we lost about 10 points this quarter. We did. You know, the basketball, the game of runs, though. So you never know what could happen. A lot of time left still. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what DME, those guys are made of. Seeing uh, if they, you know, that hopefully they still have a lot of fight left in them. And they, uh, they don't just give up and they keep, uh, you know, possession by possession, keep uh, trying to win this game. Well, it's really about learning about the game as opposed to winning every game you play. I mean, our, our kids are being tested by tough competition, and they are learning to handle the ball under pressure. They're playing against teams that are bigger, stronger, faster in many cases. And uh, we're not just picking on the, the easy teams to schedule. And I'm seeing improvement in our in our guard play with Sale. I'm seeing improvement with Sebastian. I'm seeing great improvement with Mohammed. Uh, Malik is working real hard, and um, I think he's got a great amount of talent. He's going to be a good college ball player. Ivan needs better shot selection, and uh, he needs to start hitting some of those threes that he's taken. I agree. As DME was caught <coughs> off in a man-to-man, -man, or a 2-3 zone, excuse me. As Laco goes in for the nice two point with the left as he has yet to come off the floor for this CBD, CBA team. Well, they want this win. And as Ivan drives right, kicks to Malik up top. Now we're going to have to penetrate inside here. Nice drive by Malik, but nice block right there by 21 as, as a jump ball. It was an absolute, if, if that's a jump ball, it's an absolutely awful call. But we're not going to complain. As it is DME ball now. Down 19, we're going to have to make our move here. Sebastian, Israel, back screen, back over to Mo on this wing. Malik up top. And they'll start their play again. Good, good discipline. With 640 left to go in the fourth. Good move right there by Sebastian and he finishes up off high off the glass with the left hand. Really good move by Sebastian. He's Showing us a lot of strength on these uh, inside moves. And the young man can really get off the ground, too. I watch him in practice. He can, he can jump. Good block out by Mohammed. And another good finish right there, but this one by Malik as he uh, finishes high off the glass with the right. And they cut the lead to 15 with six minutes to go. And it's very doable. They're playing extremely hard. As that looked like it could have been a travel call. Good defense right there by Sal. Hit him, hit him. Good job. Oh. Excellent, excellent play. Good pass. <clears throat> Sometimes I get a little excited here. No, that's, Since we're so close to defense. the court, we're so close to the court that it it feels like I'm on the court here. <clears throat> so that was an excellent pass. 
Because that all started on the defensive end, getting stops, getting steals, not letting uh, CB, CBA get uh, offensive rebounds. As it looks like CBA will bring in the big guy again. They're extremely well coached. I mean, notice we picked up six points on them. And that's pretty much the golden rule here. If you let a team run six points on you, you stop the action. And that's exactly what they, what they did there. <clears throat> Well-disciplined group of players. Good shooter, good ball fake, good, beautiful shot and by he, number nine. And Gonzalo has had a great second half. As that is his eighth point of the second half, three for three from the field this half. And good move right there by Sebastian. Great hustle right there by Sale to keep this possession alive. As now they can set up and Sale gets some uncanny rebounds, doesn't he? He just is somehow gets them rebounds. Uh, just a little miscommunication right there. Um, That's a good try. They had the right idea, just didn't execute quite, quite perfectly on that one. We're down under five minutes. As that guy has been hard to stop all night long going <clears throat> to the hoop. Very quick. Um, how old are most of the players on the CBA team? I'm, I think I they I are. Don't have a, I don't have a roster. Or the, and I don't think we've got anything on you know their year, their age. We do not. <clears throat> um, but I'm pretty sure from what I heard, all 18. <clears throat> all 18. Okay. So they're all either post-grads or seniors. We have a different system overseas than what we do here. I mean, our main focus here is to get these kids into the right university. Um, ultimately, you know, basketball is great. It's a privilege. But our goal is to get them into the right school, get a university degree, have some fun playing some basketball. Yeah, that, is a, that is really good basketball right there. By yeah. CBA. Yeah, when they've got their first team out here, they are tough to stop. They pass the ball just too well, play good defense, and they've got good speed as well as good height. Out of bounds on DME. It'll be CBA ball. It'll be a timeout by Coach Justin over there. As DME, as it's under four minutes, DME down 18, trying to cut into this lead. And it looks like Coach Justin, if I had to guess, is probably going to press. He doesn't have much chance, much uh, choice now. He's going to have to put extreme pressure on.
And I go, you. Because that is a foul on White. So the DME ball. Good play call right there by Coach Matt or Coach Justin. Just cannot connect right through the hands of Israel. And <clears throat> number four, Laco, another pass to, to Zazi, who's had one heck of a game today, both those guys. Over to Mo. Back up top to Israel. We just need to take our time. There's no. As that we, is on the floor again. We act like we've got a, a time clock on us. We don't need to, to be rushing our shots like that. DMU will take it out underneath again. <coughs> Charles from three, and he will not hit it. He'll be short. And CBA looks to kick. And they're just getting easy buckets, but that one does not go. Son dribbles it out and looks to drive. A little right hand hook shot. And it'll hit, it'll hit the rim about four or five times, but it'll go. Nice move right there by Gasson. But nobody got back. And it was probably a foul because it was not called. And an offensive rebound. And that's five seconds. So we'll be back to DME basketball. And back to 18 points. With just over two minutes to go in this ball game. Now officially under two minutes. Good drive to the basket by Muhammad. That's picks Sebastian. up a oh Sebastian picks up a two shot foul. And then Sebastian will go to the line for two. And his first one is up and no good. So it'll stay an 18 point lead for now. And the second one up and good. And it looks like, yep, the NBA will stay in this little press trying to get some turnovers. But, we'll let it up. Good kick. Wide open three for number 12, Gorman, who hits the three ball. And Charles can just pick it up because that clock does not stop when the ball goes through the hoop. As it is a 20 point game, and there's a minute and 30 left now. Good pass by Charles. And CBA can probably kill this whole clock if they wanted to, which, smart decision right there by number 10, Will. And he gets it back though, but he'll say, hey, I'll take this one. With a minute to go. And nice drive and the foul by Mo. And that's, you know, that is a strong move. And 
I don't know if he would have could have done that last year, but he, since he spent so much time in the weight room this summer and uh, you know this off season and before preseason, um, that move comes easy to him now, and that's good to see. That's good. He uh, he's been getting a lot bigger, a lot stronger, and that was with the right hand. And, uh, yeah, and that's confidence that the fact that he wouldn't have even attempted that move, you know, last year. This year he's got the confidence and he's going to get better and better as time goes on. And he completes the old-fashioned three-point play. And Mo's not giving up. He's still pressing. The kid doesn't know how to give up. And uh, number 10, Will misses the dunk. <coughs> and CBA will turn the ball over. And it will be DME basketball. for a home set. One of my favorite kids in the game is Nicola from Switzerland. As Mo gets another right-handed shot to fall. And Mo comes up with a loose ball. Again, twice, but he was out of bounds on that one. Good hustle right there by Mo and Sebastian. Yeah, they're not giving up. That's the, the DME spirit. You learn in wins, you learn in losses. There's another steal by Mo, all over the place. Yeah, good move right there by Ivan. Real good Ivan. move by Ivan. Oh, he's got a three on one. As he will kick it out, and this game will be over. As CBA from Spain uh, takes the win with the final score of 66. DME 53. And before we let you guys go, you know, I want to say thank you for watching for all the families out there. Um, we also do have a big post-grad tournament this weekend. Um, all, all three DME uh, teams play tomorrow at 11 a.m., 1 p.m., and 3 p.m. And uh, we will let you know the times as well on Saturday and Sunday tomorrow during those games. Yeah, we've got a